Hello guys, this is Rahul and in today's session we are going to discuss about Terraform loop and specifically we are going to talk about for, for each and the count. If this is the first time you are coming to this channel and if you want to learn Terraform then please go out and check the previous lab session where we have covered like what is Terraform, how to get started with Terraform on AWS and Google Cloud platform. Also we have covered like what is Terraform variables, output values and locals. So please go and check those session if you are interested in learning Terraform more. Along with this today's session I am just going to share one guide with you and uh, you can find all the command and the instructions uh, which we are going to use throughout this session into this guide. So I'll put the link of this guide into the description section so feel free to use it. Let's first start with the count but before we begin with the count let's understand some concept. Uh, these for count and for each loop work on a list variable or either map variable because a list or map contains more than one values. So as you know whenever you are working with the for for each loop or count in any programming language then you are working with the collections and the collection which we are talking about is either list, map or sets. So here you can see this is the variable which we have defined and this variable is of type list and that is string. So here the variable name which I have kept it over here is user underscore names. The description which I have given is I am usernames. In Terraform you can uh, put any uh, meaningful name over here into the description section and the type is list and that is of type string and the three values which I have assigned over here that is user1, user2 and user3. So uh, when you are working with the count in Terraform first of all you need to define the variable and this is the variable which we have defined is of type of list containing three users. And if you see this uh, diagram over here then this is how it is going to store the values. So as you know uh, the index position starts with the 0. So in the 0 you are going to store user 1, in 1 you are going to store user 2 and in 2 you are going to store user 3. Uh, this is just a normal thing. Okay. So the next thing uh, how we are going to use the count variable. So here uh, I am going to create an IM user in AWS. And in that resource, we are going to first of all define the count. And here you can see we are going to use the length function. And in the length function, we are going to pass the variable user underscore name. So if you look carefully over here, this is the keyword which we have used that is var dot followed by your username variable. So if you look carefully, the username variable which we are going to use over here is the same which we have defined above. So this is the username. Okay. So first we have defined the variable and then we are going to create a resource that is I am user in AWS and inside that uh, AWS user we are first of all going to count uh, how many number of users are there and then we are going to uh, use this uh, feature of Terraform where we are going to put count.index and that will just iterate over the values that is user1, user2 and user3 and it is going to create three IAM user inside our AWS. So as I shown you previously in the diagram like user uh, the index position 0, 1 and 2. So this count.index will iterate over those index position that will start with 0, 1 and 2 and it will put those values uh, over here. So once this uh, uh, configuration executes and it is going to create three w three aws users uh, inside our aws console this is my terraform configuration for the demo of count and first of all we are going to define the provider yeah because we are going to work on aws that's why we have kept the provider as aws if you are going to work on uh, google cloud then just you need to substitute the value over here with the google cloud or azure but since we are working with the AWS, so that's why I have used AWS uh, region. You need to select it based on your location uh, and you can just keep uh, like if you are in Asia region or America region, then please uh, choose suitable region which is close to you. Access key and secret key. Uh, if you don't know how to use those access key and secret key and from where to get it, then please uh, see the part one of this Terraform series where I have shown like how to get the access key and secret key. Anyway, I'll put that link in the description section of this video so you can follow that one also. Uh, secondly, uh, we are going to create an AWS instance and that is going to be our virtual machine. And uh, the instance type is t2.micro because we are just starting it for demo purpose. That's why I just kept a very small machine. And the tag name which we are going to assign is Terraform EC2. Uh, it is just a user defined tag name. You can keep an anything uh, of your choice. 
And this is the interesting part, the IAM user, because uh, we are going to create a variable and then we are going to iterate that variable so that we can use the count. So as I explained uh, previously uh, in the guide, so this is the variable which I have declared over here that is user names along with three value, user one, user two and user three. And this is uh, how I'm going to create an IAM user using the count. Let's move the terminal a little bit up. And the first command which we are going to run is terraform init. Now this command is going to download all the required dependency which is needed to communicate with AWS. And now we have completed the terraform init command. I'll clear the screen. The second command which I'm going to run is terraform plan. Our terraform plan command, what it does, it actually tells you like how many resource it is going to add. So here you can see it is telling us like four resources to add. So that means we are going to create three users, user one, user two, user three. And the fourth resource is uh, our AWS instance, that is t2.micro. So these are the four, four resources which we are going to create. But Terraform plant does not create those resources into AWS. It just tells you, it's kind of a dry run. So it just tells you like how many resources it is going to add, it is going to change, and it is going to destroy. Okay, so now we have successfully run the terraform plan command. The next command which I'm going to run is terraform apply. Terraform apply. And this command is going to create our resources. And it will ask, do you want to perform this action? Just simply type yes and hit enter. And now we have completed the terraform apply command successfully. And it tells you like four resources has been added. Let's go back to our AWS console. And here you can see this is my AWS dashboard and I'm into the section I am dashboard uh, because we have created three I am users and uh, we just wanted to verify whether those three users has been created or not. So before running the Terraform apply command, I had a zero user. So now I have successfully executed my Terraform apply command. So I'm just going to refresh this page and here you can see three users and we can verify those three users also. So user one, user two and user three. So these are the three resources which we have created uh, using our Terraform configuration. Uh, we just wanted to verify our fourth resource that is our EC2 instance and just type and click on here. And here you can see uh, one instance is running. Just click here. And here you can see uh, this is this is our fourth uh, resource which we wanted to verify that is Terraform EC2. And if you go back to our Terraform configuration, so here you can verify the tag name also that is Terraform EC2. Okay, so this is how we are going to create our IAM user using the count uh, of Terraform. Now we have seen the count example and the demo. I'm just going to destroy all the resources and uh, I'll just clear it first and the command for that is terraform destroy. So it will take some time. So I'll be back when uh, terraform destroy command has been completed. As you can see, now we have destroyed our all the four resources. Let's head back to our guide. And now we have seen a uh, loop with the count in terraform. The next topic which we are going to discuss is the for each loop. So click over here. And again, I'm going to take the same example. And in this example, again, I'm going to create the same three users, user one, user two, and user three. The only thing which is going to change over here is the resources uh, of a AWS IAM user. So previously we have used count over here, but this time we are going to use, use for each. So here you can see, uh, we have to mention the keyword for each along with the variable keyword and our uh, username variable. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So we need to use this user underscore names variable, which we have created over here, as you can see over here. And after that, you just simply need to uh, type the each dot value. So this each dot value is going to iterate over each value of user that is user one, user two and user three. And it is going to uh, put it over here under the name. So this for each loop is a little bit simpler uh, than the count but uh, this is how we are going to perform it. So what you need to do over here is you just simply need to copy this for each part of this uh, Terraform script. And here is the complete uh, Terraform script if you wanna uh, see over here. But I'll go back to my uh, Visual Studio. And here uh, I'm just gonna remove this resource where we have used count. I'm just gonna remove it. And I'm just gonna paste the for each uh, loop. And I'm just going to save it. 
okay all right so uh, i'll increase the terminal size over here uh, i'll clear the screen and now we have already run the terraform init command so you don't need to run it again and again uh, the next command we i'm gonna run is terraform plan just to verify whether there is any problem or there is any, there is any syntactical uh, mistake with my uh, this, uh, this terraform configuration oh i forgot to mention the one important concept uh, regarding the for each loop you cannot use list over here uh, so this is how a terraform plan command really helps you to identify the issues before uh, running the terraform apply command so here uh, with the for each loop you cannot use list you need to use set uh, or map uh, you can see the same instruction over here in the guide i have already mentioned i think uh, this is the set you need to use you don't you cannot use list over here so that's the thing uh, you need to change and uh, let's go back to my visual studio and i'll clear the screen again and i'm just gonna run the terraform plan command again and now we are able to execute it successfully and again it is showing four to add so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna run the terraform plan command actually no sorry terraform apply command so i'm just gonna run terraform apply command All right, so now we have successfully completed our Terraform apply command and it says four resource has been added. So let's go back to our AWS console. Just refresh this page. And here you can see three users has been created. And these are the three users, one, two, and three. And similarly, we can verify the EC2 instance also. And here you can see our one EC2 instance is ready. Yeah, it's up and running so now we have seen like how to use the for each uh, inside your terraform configuration and remember to use set instead of list uh, either you can use set or map for uh, to work with the for each loop inside your terraform configuration so i'll just destroy uh, this uh, terraform configuration and uh, i'll be back when the terraform destroy has finished now my terraform destroy has uh, just finished i'll clear the screen over here let's head back to our guide and the next topic which we are going to discuss over here is the for loop. So here in the for loop, again, I'm going to take the same variable example where I'm going to create the three users, user one, user two, and user three. Uh, but this time I'm not gonna create uh, uh, our actual AWS user. Instead, I'm just going to use the output uh, functionality of Terraform configuration. If you haven't checked the what output variables are in Terraform, then please go and check. I'll put the card over here. Uh, so that you can just check uh, how to create a uh, output variables in terraform so uh, instead of applying and running those terraform configuration we are just gonna see uh, how to print those values on to our console okay so here uh, i'm just gonna copy this section because we have already created the variable inside my terraform file so i'll go back to my uh, terraform configuration file and here i'm just gonna remove this resource and paste this one over here, this output variable. So it is just simply going to print user one, user two, and user three. So here I'm just going to use the for loop instead of for each loop, okay? So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just simply gonna save this file and then I'm gonna run the terraform uh, plan command. I'll just increase the size of this terminal but uh, you already know the drill uh, like how to run the terraform plan and terraform apply command if you actually want to perform this uh, step onto aws but instead uh, i'm just simply going to run the terraform plan command and here you can see this is the output which i got back that changes to the output is print name and this is the variable output variable name which i have taken print the names and here you can see the output user one user two and user three so uh, I just wanted to show you this concept of for loop also instead of running it on an actual AWS because we have seen the previous count and for each uh, by implementing on AWS. But this is how you are gonna implement the for loop. The loop is pretty much simple. This is the variable name uh, that is user underscore name. And this is how you create the for loop uh, inside your Terraform configuration. I hope you like your today's session on Terraform loops. Into the next session, we are going to look on Terraform resource meta argument. 
And if you have any questions regarding to today's session, then please put down into the comment section. And if you are interested in the similar content, then please follow my channel uh, with the name Rahul Wag. And you can find me on the web also uh, with the jehu.com where I keep on sharing the guides on Terraform, Kubernetes and Hulk chart. So see you into the next section. Till then, bye-bye.